January's always been one of the better months for video game releases, and on mobiles it's actually much more varied compared to any other platform. We're getting tons and tons of new games on a daily basis, and since yesterday we've managed to gather two dozen new games released recently that you can pick up for free on your Android and iOS mobiles as well. Been in the making for over two years now. At number one, uh, we've got here possibly the most anticipated mobile game from Asia for months, basically Korea. Finally, with a global release for those of you who missed it, the Play of Genesis, which is a strategy or tactical role playing game that takes inspiration a lot from the Fire Emblem games. Now, here's a trailer for those of you who have missed it. The game is now both on the Google and the App Store. As of today, it's free and about five gigabytes in total. <laughs> Released earlier today, possibly the first work of its developers, because I've got no clue where this even came from. Uh, we've got here an action RPG hack and slash, almost the same in quality with games as big as Lost Ark. A 5 out of 5 rated new one here called Blade X, which you can actually play this one on both the Google and the App Store, it's of course online, and about 4 to 5 gigabytes depending on your cell phone. Works just fun on Android, tried it, it's one of the most graphically advanced games of its own kind, and so far it's been bug free. With over 10,000 downloads and a 4.7 rating, although been in pre-register state for months, Sky Defense, which was taken down and put up for beta tests a few times so far, is now finally out globally on Android and coming to iOS later in the month we hear. It's, as you can see, an action shooting almost tower defense. It plays offline and online, both takes you down 200 megabytes in total. Great airborne defense game with an actual story on top. Moving on to number 4, you might want to skip this one if you're an Android user, because Derby Madness is an iOS exclusive at the moment, which is promised to be coming to Android sometime soon. Uh, the game is right now awarded as the newest best racing game of 2024 and 3. It plays offline and will take you only 1GB of storage. It's actually coming from the same developers of the famous Boss Derby, definitely a neck and head above that one in graphics, content, and quite an enjoyable pace as well. Been in development for months, in fact, removed a couple of months ago so developers could come up with a better version of it. At number 5 we have Wellsy Legends, which is a real-time strategy RPG role-playing game. Released earlier today, I've reason to believe the best of its own kind, if you're into either the old Clash of Clans or something as new as Raid Shadow Legends, let's say. It's basically idle games. This one's a pretty nice new setting, it's set entirely in ocean and has really, really nice and creative characters. Coming in at number 6, uh, we've got here another new clone off of the old totally accurate battle simulator or you know tabs going by the name battle fight simulation. Basically the same drill, you pit a bunch of different artillery and army against your enemy is trying to anticipate who's gonna win. It's a ragdoll based strategy game, it's a little bit comedy. It's a pretty good one, plays offline about 100 megabytes in total which is dope, although it does get a little bit repetitive. Been around for a couple of weeks already and now available globally, sitting on both the Google and the App Store with an almost perfect 5 out of 5 score. Raid Swarm here is a pretty slick and dope smooth top down action shooter, almost an alien shooter if you played those games, except you fight criminals instead of monsters. It's a free game over here, nothing really to talk about, it's a big game in content, but a casual one. 200 megabytes in total, plays offline with a controller if desired, and is from the famous developers of the Blob merch. 10 out of 10. 
Technically speaking, this has been a trend for months and I'm sure there's a lot of demands because these developers just drop these games almost every day. In any case, uh, we've got here another only up style game here going by the name Rise Up parkour where you just have to do your best to reach the end of a bunch of obstacles by jumping on or over them to clear rounds it's a good game a little clunky it's pretty decent in visuals and plays offline as well Moving on to number 9, coming from the same veterans and making almost identical sims or life simulation games just like the sims series, we've got here another new one since yesterday going by the name City Gems. With a 4.5 out of 5 rated theme park sim, so far downloaded over 10,000 times and available only on the Play Store, in which you take on the role of a theme park manager and have to run almost a whole city. It's a big game, a bit hard to manage, it's about 200 megabytes in total and plays online. That being said, if you like to manage a little less and have to make decisions on what kind of toys to choose you want to feature in your park, well, you might want to go with this one. Park Mania is just the same a theme park sim, but it's an idle strategy game and you could say a tad more addicting and less engaging in overall gameplay. I'm not really sure why I'm putting two theme park sim games one after another, but it's a pretty decent one, very well made and a free one too. Now, freemium territory, yesterday Stickman Warriors Dragon Hero went free on Android and it's remaining that way for just 4 more days. It's a Dragon Ball inspired fighting game, plays offline and in its own genre, basically retro games, it offers one of the best in general. That being said, if you weren't really looking for fighting game, you might also want to try Grow Heroes, which is actually a $2 mobile very addictive idle RPG that's free for a few more days. It's actually been for quite a while my usual go-to game when I'm craving some good old strategy and there's always more things for you to do. Playable offline and if that was not enough, here's some actual good games we didn't mention earlier. Released these past couple days as you're gonna see for actually the rest of the month. Starting with number 13, Happy Skate. with endless possibilities. Exclusive sets, freely mix and match. Powerful skill, challenge the demon. Divine weapons, adventure collection. Exciting battles, defend your homeland. Numerous stages to challenge and level up.
wasteland. A cat had nothing and was bullied by others. <sighs> he survived for some days by playing Dash Upon. And then... <laughs> 